Welcome back to the channel Scallywags. It looks like we have ourselves quite the video to break down today. It looks like Abba and Preach has secured an interview with their number one ops baby mama. A dangerous play indeed. And lucky for us, they actually asked many questions that we were wondering, though most of these things were pretty obvious, you know, just to hear her perspective, though, in a more calmer manner, aka without Destiny attacking her, it is what I was looking for, and this is what essentially we got here, so it's great. No hate to you, Destiny. Anywho, we are going to be going over the questions asked and, you know, break them down one by one as needed and get some additional context from the previous video I made. So subscribe to the channel and like the video. I'm so close to 500 subs, guys. I need like 110 more. So smash that red button. I do appreciate the support. And with that being said, let's just roll the clip. Gonna work. On a live stream today, uh, he said that you were never his girl. He's that that? I made a statement on my vlog and on the show multiple times. And I said, this is a matter of fact, guys, look, look it up if you want to. I said, if a girl's on camera with me, she is what? Not my girl. Just keep that in mind. If I bring a girl on camera, she's not my girl. You never see my girl because I know what happens when you bring her on, on the internet. I learned from my experience. That's all I'm gonna say. Listen, this was a great trip. Happy to see my lovely Asian queen again. Uh, but, you know, as time passes, we must say farewells for a short period of time until mm -hmm. she comes back. So, can't wait to see her back here in Miami. Um, I brought her. <laughs> 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 no, no, I don't. Love you, babe. Love you. Yeah. So I want to start off by saying right and wrong here are like a bit of an abstract, right? There's two codes that we're going to be looking at. All right, ladies and gents, two different codes. Number one, there's going to be the code of ethics, right? So that's mainly what we're going to be looking at, a code of ethics. But two, there's code of game, right? And, you know, in this video, we'll be mainly judged once again on the code of, a code of ethics, sorry, but we will be acknowledging the code of game as well. And Fresh, you know, he scored a point on both because you know morally what he did is like some bottom feeder piece of crap energy we could all agree right it's it's you shouldn't be doing this you shouldn't be lying to women getting them pregnant and just leaving them right but that's what an f boy is so you know you kind of you kind of got what you paid for daisy if, if you knew and you watched these podcasts and you seen how fresh was and how he acts and he's pretty open making these jokes that you know he does these things it's kind of on you. You got to take some accountability for picking this partner, right? So it goes both ways, right? Like, come on, honey boo boo. What is this? Respectfully, let us continue. Why did you accept being in a non monogamous relationship with Fresh? Yeah, uh, you know why? Because uh, we were in a long distance relationship. Because whether I agree or not, he's going to do that. And we weren't stable because we just got to know each other. And, you know, so I was thinking. Just to be there and move there, for, like to be with him, maybe, maybe like it would be different, you know. But I don't want to, like, it comes to a conclusion in the beginning, like, oh, I'm gonna stop this guy from doing everything just because he met me. Because in the early stage of the relationship. I now, if we're taking into account that Fresh is a liar and he probably lied to her and probably told her everything she wanted to hear to get the box. This, this has merit to what she's saying, you know? He's selling her a dream, and she bought it, and then she got rug pulled. GG's. I don't wanna... Um, then I ask her, well, why do you not want to be intense about monogamy, but you are rushing to have a kid? Yeah, I, I understand, I understand, because um, I just felt like... I am not... I just feel like I'm not that type of girl that I have to be with someone for years to get married, or... If if I like someone, I can have a kid with him for like a week. Like it's not. It doesn't matter. It's the time. It doesn't matter. I was with someone for nine months. He really wanted to marry me. He's American, and I didn't want that. I ended that when I when I met Walter. I just felt like, wow, there's so much chemistry. All right, hold on, madam. A week. Please, let's, let's not push it here, okay? You know, I get you're getting your moment here, but let's not try to oversell it and stuff to get, take some lies off of you. It's, it's a little bit weird that you're just willing to have a kid with someone this early. In a week, 
stop it right <laughs> if i'm gonna understand her correctly because there's the language barrier she essentially i believe means when she meets somebody is more so on the person and their personality more so than you know them actually you know needing a year to be with the person before she has a kid or i guess sleeps with the person which some people do do that and her specifically being from china and i believe she's 28 don't get at me, but I'm pretty sure there's a term called Sheng Wu where it means like leftovers, right? After 25, the women are looked at as, as leftovers. They should have been married at some point. So it would make perfect sense why she's rushing to get married or rushing to have a kid or just be with somebody to the point where she went with fresh. What if he claimed he never wanted a baby? Would that be true? She didn't want? Okay. If he say so. If he really didn't want a baby, after so many times I ask him in person, do not come in me. He does that every fucking day. Like, he can just pull out. Easy as that. Because he was always like, oh, I'm doing this with my girlfriend. So really serious conversation, like planning a future and ask me, what I want to do. Oh, I want to plan a future with you. Uh, why don't we get a house instead of renting another apartment? And that doesn't make sense, wasting money, blah, blah, blah. And he said, um, what, what if you get pregnant? Isn't that better for a bigger house? He got picking it up. Translation. You're an idiot, Fresh. Like, what in the stupid did I just hear? My dude not only doesn't glove up, he purposely shoots up the club and he doesn't want kids fresh fresh you might be a low-key adrenaline junkie you're a savage sir you know i for one cannot partake in these reindeer games but if that's what you are trying to do brother i would just suggest at that point just go skydiving and i don't even want to skydive or suggest skydive for people but over this yeah go skydiving did you always tell him that you would not get an abortion Oh, I always, I always told him. He knows I'm not getting any abortion. And plus, he didn't care at all. He was like, he's, he was kind of like just admitted that if he, he's going to make, make me pregnant, he's just going to like raise a baby with me. And he, 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 he didn't like say that, but all the, this, this his action proves that you know i can actually believe her and and not because what she said surprisingly is just the fact that this guy does bareback if a girl lets you hit bareback or raw dog or whatever you guys call it she either is a street crawler right that's just a super sane street call crawler or she trusts you enough to risk getting pregnant with you whether that trust is a stupid decision or not right and since we have no proof of the former it looks like we just have we're just left with two idiots right just two stupid people and i feel so bad for the child because fresh is the father respectfully and this lady doesn't seem like she makes the best choices or decisions as well so whoa i asked me ask me huh Okay. Uh, but you let this dummy bust inside you. Why? Wow. <laughs> I mean, you can't talk shit about God it. God damn. He was coating your sugar walls. I'm just saying. Yeah. God damn, Abba. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't realize that before because I, just... <laughs> I just thought he's funny. Then, then you're going to end up like, with a dumb cause... baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, any regrets about how this whole thing has unfolded so far? uh yeah first for being so dumb letting him come inside on me without marriage um and i don't i don't regret exposing i don't yeah what's who, who's abba i asked her if she's gonna have a boy does she know what she's gonna name him <laughs> oh my god i don't know <laughs> don't ask me this question because i don't I don't. I haven't decided yet. What about the name Abba? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got so many DMs already that they want to step in and they want to be the stepfather. 
Somebody show me the lie, please. Please, sir. Sir, does, does anybody have the lie? I, I'm looking for the lie. <laughs> like, like, I'm not hating on homie, but how did you bag this shorty? Like, like, does Fresh save all of his good jokes, you know, just for the women? Because I ain't never heard none of these jokes land on the show, guys. And I know you guys agree with me, too. And I'm saying that respectfully. Like, this whole time we thought Fresh was dumb. No, 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 guys, no. He may very well just be a genius playing dumb, always being over undercover, guys. Nah, I'm just playing. Okay, which mad lad is so hungry to try to go for this girl while she is freshly pregnant? Like, the food must be so scarce out there, eh, guys? Jeez. Like, stay focused, fellas. Go to the gym. Stay focused. And even funnier, could you imagine she actually does that? If she actually names her son Abba and Preach or Abba or whatever, they would win the war. They would win the war. The war would be over. It can never be overwritten. They would be the sole winners of the war if she does that so that is a lot of power that she <laughs> that she has here right now bro that's crazy man yo abba you are just the petty king uncanny levels of petty if she does this can you show paperwork for pregnancy tests and ultrasound a lot of people are saying that stuff is photoshopped or whatever or it's just like so i just wanted to at least see if she had actual real paperwork uh yeah i have no problem sharing that i actually posted the, uh, okay, so let me explain about the ultrasound. The doctor told me it's still early, four weeks. So he can't, she can't see everything, but she can still see a little bit, like a small quarter of it. But it's just like too, it's too early, you know, it's four. So this is more or less be like the nail in the coffin. Like we don't know how real these are, but these documents look more real than they do fake, right? And if real, Walter, buddy, this is why you glove up. And also maybe pull out that that's probably another good one too. Like you got to hold this blessing of an L my friend. You, you got to hold the L. Well, I'm glad we got to see her in a well templated, you know, question answer kind of format just so we can get a more constructed idea or answers to the questions that we had. Now in those other instances, you know, no full fault to destiny, but when you have someone edging on and raging someone, it's very hard to get the proper answers out. So this was more properly done in a way that, you know, we're able to actually get some information from once again. So, um, she let Walter shoot up the club, man. That is, that is, there's just so much levels and questions that even though we got an answer to, it's just, we, we were looking for, I guess a we're never going to get that answer. We're really looking for, I feel like it's more in depth. It's like, she probably doesn't know. That's the, that's the thing but no full-on hate man i'm just teasing walter you do what you do brother but uh what do you guys think right well daisy named the child abba or abba and preach or abba and preach daisy chan or whatever it is and, or will fresh actually step up and take care of the kid you know it's so weird i know he doesn't want a child but i think his fake game when he's really good at being genuine it's hard to do that unless you're like a sociopath i think he does mean it and then he just opts out after so i say that all to say he probably will take care of the child if it is born i that's my guess you know i don't think he has a heart to, to avoid that right personally or maybe he's gonna head out for some milk who knows leave it in the comments below and let me know what you guys think that's what matters the most and subscribe to the channel and like the video guys i'm so close to that 500 sub count as i mentioned before i'm off to make more content for you guys so you already know what it is scallywags take it easy i like booty